Hi there, I'm Chloe Crabtree from CelebrateAndDecorate.com. Welcome. Um, I have really been into um, grazing boards for years. I just didn't know that they were called grazing boards. So this is my big round one, and it's time to do a St. Patrick's Day a grazing board. So I'm gonna start with green things, guacamole. And then I want to show you what I'm going to do to this brie. I have a shamrock cookie cutter and I'm just going to press it right down in the top of my brie and hard and cut that out. And it worked. I have a shamrock pattern and I also have a shamrock of brie. So I'm going to push this out of the cookie cutter now and we will use this on our grazing board um i like to this is a fabulous way to entertain um because it's casual you you know you put out some tidbit plates and uh, offer up beverages it's not fussy like a dinner party or even like a it's it's kind of like a buffet on one tray so I'm gonna, I promise I'm gonna get this out of here and move on here. All right, and here's our shamrock. I'm gonna trim it up a little bit before I add it to the grazing board, okay? But there it is. Now, I found today green cheese. Not, not bad cheese that's gone bad. This is guacamole cheese, and if you read it, it's um, a cow's milk cheese, and it's got everything that your um, guacamole would have in it. Avocado puree, lime juice, um, tomato, chilies, onions, garlic. So, okay, right here, so, I'm gonna stick this right down in the cheese, just like I did with the brie. And we're gonna see if it's just as difficult to get out as the brie was. This piece of cheese was not quite that big, but we're gonna push this right out. I'm gonna cut those pieces of cheese for little nibbles for other people to have. And I'm gonna be sharing all kinds of green and a little bit of orange things for a St. Patrick's Day grazing board. So there is our green cheese, and now we're just gonna set it right down in there. And you have a custom piece of brie for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm gonna add this, and I'm gonna add my guacamole, and set some of this stuff aside. And this is um, not really green, but it's a spinach and artichoke dip, so you know that's something somewhat green. And I'm gonna add um, to the grazing board, broccoli, carrots, cucumbers, things that people might wanna dip in these, okay? So I've got some um, English cucumbers here and I'm gonna slice these nice and thin pieces for people to dip in. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna lay them out on the board. So I've added my cucumber slices all around our cheese and our guacamole. And now I am adding some broccoli florets. So far we're into all the healthy things that you can dip in these dips, aren't I? Okay, we're gonna keep tucking those in here. And I cut um, one green pepper, like a slice off of the top. This is actually off the top. It could be the top or the bottom. And I'm just going to put that right here in our dip and it looks like a little shamrock okay you know what else is green pickles so let's start adding pickles right along here these are actually small dills and i'm going to kind of pile them up right there 
And then I've got all kinds of things saved down here next to me that I'm going to get out and start sharing with you. But I am, I am going to cut up another, um, looks like someone took a bite out of that. We're not putting that on there. Um, okay. Green grapes are going to go right there. Now, what would it be without Irish, St. Patrick's Day be without Irish soda bread? So I'm gonna open this up and I'm just going to start to cut this so that people will see that they can um, go ahead and slice into this and help themselves. So, oh, look, it's gonna break apart. That's wonderful, look at that. So I'm just gonna tuck these pieces right along here and this is something a, getting a little more sweet rather than savory. And we'll just tuck those pieces right along the side right here. I have to tell you, this smells so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And I don't know if you know, this is really good when it's warm and you put lots of butter on it. So, Add a little bit more right here and fill it up to the edge. I like my boards to be filled to the edge, but I don't like things falling off. Okay, now let's get sweet. Okay, I have scissors around here somewhere. These are the tidbit plates I'm going to be putting out with my board. Probably wonder, well, French bread, why has she got French bread? Well, I was thinking about cutting that up for people to use for cheeses, but maybe not. Okay. These are little yogurt covered. Um, I'm gonna turn this a little bit. These are little yogurt covered um, pretzels that have been, um, have green dipped on them. They actually, oh, these, these are not the mint one. Oh yeah, these are mint drizzle on these. So move these out of the way and turn this around so you can see. And I'm, I don't want to dump these out. That's, that's the one thing. When you're making a um, grazing board, you don't want to just dump things out. You want to like try and uh, place things because um, as much as the quality of the food, with a grazing board, you're going for the appearance, for the presentation. But you can see, you could ask folks over um, and yeah, if you want to have some corned beef and cabbage, you know, you could, you could have that, you know, in a, um, crock pot, uh, for people to help themselves to also, but how nice would it be for them to sit down to this? Okay. Now, what else is green? Green apples. And I am going to take a couple of the, or take at least one of these apples here and cut it open. Now, if I was getting this grazing board ready for my guests, I would really put lemon juice on the apples, so on the apple slices, so that they wouldn't start to brown. But I am just going to um, slice it now to show you. And we're just going to add those right up next to the grapes. Oh, grape on the loose. And again, a great thing, and you can even just, you do wanna take the, the tags off of them, but you could even just add an apple for the greenery. One of the other things that I was going to add, oh, look at this cheese that I found. It's an aged Irish cheddar, and I love cheddar cheese, and they have it already at the store for St. Patrick's Day with the Irish flag on it. So that's a great addition. And we'll just tuck it over here by this apple. There we go. And then I think I will tuck some crackers. Um, these uh, toast for cheese from the Fine Cheese Company, and these have apricots pistachios and sunflower seeds. And I thought, oh, well, aren't, isn't that fun? Because they have a little bit of green. 
Well, they have a little bit of green on the box. I don't see a lot of green on them right here, but I'm gonna add these right over here by my cheese. And again, don't just toss them out there. Oh, there's the pistachio. I do see some green. Pistachios would be a great nut to add to your St. Patrick's Day board. And again, I'm gonna keep turning this around so you can see what I'm doing on the different sides of it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep chopping these apples here. Okay, we've got all of our apples wrapped around the apple over here, isn't that pretty? And now I'm gonna add some celery, these are pretty. I bought um, celery sticks that were already pre-cut, but they weren't small enough. I wasn't happy with them, so I'm just going to trim. And I always feel like the ends are a little dried, so I'm gonna cut those and cut them into two. Just like that. But you can see this is, did you, did you even realize there's that many green foods out there? <laughs> there's a lot, aren't there? Okay, now, let's see. We're gonna add a few more crackers over here. Just, there we go. See those just like that, over to the, out of the way. And, I have, a, a, now that we have our tray, our grazing board almost finished, I want to add my sh Brie Shamrock. I'm gonna turn this around, show you, I'm gonna add it right there. And I have just a little bit of space left to fill right here. And in addition to the white, pretzel, yogurt pretzels with the um, mint drizzle. I have milk chocolate pretzels. And I have found that chocolate, no matter what, is always popular on a grazing board. So I'm just gonna add a few of these. And then I have to see if I have a dish small enough. Let's see if this, sometimes I use dishes on my um, grazing boards and sometimes I don't um, other than the dips. So we're gonna add these right over here. And you could just put these right up on top of the grapes because there's plenty of grapes for people to get to. There we go. And now I have one, oh, I have two more things that I really want to add that I bought specifically for this. One is Jelly Bellies. So there'll be plenty of sweets for anybody who wants something sweet. We'll just fill that dish up like that. Oh, my granddaughters are gonna be happy when they come to visit. And then, these were so perfect green. These are green. These are gummy sour green apples. And I would love to open this without cutting. It's a Ziploc or a zip top bag, but I don't know if I can get it open from their sticker from the store. I might have to put it inside another bag. Oh, there it came. And I am just going to add these little apples all over the board. So we're gonna add one here. We're gonna add one over here by the apple. And we have a little room over here by our shamrock. And I'm, don't worry, I'm gonna turn this all around so you can see the whole thing before we're done, okay? But I wanted to show you how easy it is to turn any, any holiday, any occasion into a grazing board, go with a, a color theme or, um, like I said, breakfast, breakfast theme. Just tuck that right there. And that adds a nice little pop of green. Let's move these things all aside. You can see I bought some things I'm not gonna be using, but look at what we have to serve up to our guests for St. Patrick's Day. So I hope for St. Patrick's Day, you style a wonderful grazing board like this or maybe you'll be invited to somebody's house and they'll do all of the work. 
But I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you follow me at CelebrateAndDecorate.com. Happy St. Patrick's Day and be fabulous.